Assalamualaikum and uh, good day. I'm Dr. Zaitun from Civil Engineering Laboratory. I'm your uh, lecturer for the lab test. So today uh, you will have to do the uh, influence line test. The bridge model is shown in the picture. So uh, as uh, we, I have told you in the note that the bridge model uh, are supported by six support A, B, C, D, E, F. In uh, in each support, it has a dial gauge. The objective of this test uh, is the first one determine the influence line on at the support reaction of the bridge model. The second objective is to identify the use of influence line for the moving compound loads and the third one to compare the test result with the theoretical results. There are two tests that need to be conducted. The first one is test one that is by moving the uh, load 2.5 kg to the right of the bridge and the second one is moving compound loads consisting of 5 kg and 2.5 kg uh, move to the uh, right of the bridge according to the uh, required position. The picture shows the the mass or the load uh, 5 kg and 2.5 kg. The load will be positioned at A and then uh, we take the uh, reading dial gauge at A, B, C, D, E and F and then we repeat at point 1 and subsequently record the reading of the dial gauges and this will be repeated until the uh, load position at 11. The position of 1, 2, to 11 are marked on the bridge. It is very important to make sure that the dial gauge has zero reading. This is uh, carried out by pressing the, the bridge model and then uh, release it and make sure it got a zero reading and this is the mass or load 2.5 kilogram for the test one it begins with impose the 2.5 kilo at point A and then the reading at uh, dial gauge A, B, C, D, E and F are recorded and uh, put it in the table uh, as given in the sheet. This is the data sheet that was used to record the data for the test one. After the reading uh, at A uh, has been completed, then the load will be moved to the right at position 1 and again all the data from the dial gauges will be recorded. Now we have another set of data at position 1. By using the same procedure, this will be repeated until uh, point 11. For the test 2, we will experiment uh, the load compound load 5 kg and 2.5 kg. Uh, the first is by putting 
5 kilo on the point A and then uh, all the reading at the dial gauges will be recorded in the data sheet uh, in data sheet 2 again for the test 2 after completed at point A the compound load will be moved to the right to the uh, point 1 and all the data will be recorded uh, such as the uh, previous one This is the example of data that have been taken taken at point 1 and this pro procedure are repeated again until to the point F. So now we have completed test 1 dataset and test 2 dataset.